Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to Thursday Theorist. I actually made it. I didn't think I was going to be able to make it, but I actually made it. If I'm honest, that's because I listened to the last half of The Running Man on audiobook at like three times speed. Uh, which which could have also, you, you guys, if you guys haven't uh, seen my review of this book, then go ahead. I'll, I'll link to it down in there in the doobly-doo. But, uh... It, I, I, I needed to get it over with, man. It's, it's such a bleak experience, uh, and I'm in a really good mood right now, so I didn't want to weigh myself down with with a heavy subject matter. So I've read the book twice before, so I figured I could just speed through, you know, the ending of, of the book, which is actually my favorite part. There's going to be spoilers for this book. If you don't know how I do on Thursday Theorists, I talk about all of Stephen King's work in almost every single episode, so there could be spoilers for IT, there could be spoilers for uh, The Wastelands, there could be spoilers for all of his stuff. Um, so if you don't want spoilers, I suggest clicking away now. Now, uh, I already did the review and I went into what I didn't like in the review, but I want to add a little review here, just like I do in every other Thursday Theorist. Um, I don't care too much for this story, I never have. Um, I love the last part of the book when he's on the plane. That entire section is terrific. It, it Twist after twist, and it's just so much fun when every time that, uh, was it, Killian tells him his wife is dead, and his wife and child are dead, I'm like, well, damn. And I still, to this day, think that Killian might have been lying to him. But even if he wasn't, even if he wasn't, um, it's it's still such a such a great such a great scene that it like it even gives me goosebumps now talking about it now the the ending of course is is terrific i, I love the i love the crashing into an airplane uh, crashing crashing the airplane into the games building i heard someone say, i can't remember if you're watching this and you're the one who said this someone said that they didn't like it because of the 9-11 connotations this book was written ages ago uh probably 20 years before 9-11 happened um, but of course, I mean, that's a, it's a tragedy. People are going to, you know, relate this to that. Um, of course, it has nothing to do with terrorism. It is a revenge plot. Um, but the main things that I enjoyed about this time, there's something that I caught this time that I got, that got me thinking that I did not catch the first time around. And that's the name of the city that this story begins in, and that is Co-op City. Having just, or actually, I'm I'm in the middle of it right now, which is perfect. I'm also reading it. I'm always reading it. Um, probably about you know anywhere from five to ten pages a day. Sometimes as little as two to four pages a day. Um, but I'm reading it, The Wastelands, and I read this one all at the same time. And all these books were roughly, I think they were roughly written about the same time too. I'll go into more detail of that in in later videos about Richard Bachman. But of course, there's the mention. I mean, he goes to Derry. You, you, you can't, you, that ties in because of insomnia and it and all that. And of course, it ties in the Dark Tower. So does insomnia. You have your hard connect there. Um, that's your hard connect to the Dark Tower. But there's another thing I want to talk about, and that's Co-op City, which is what Eddie, De where Eddie Dean tells Jake to go in like the dream sequence. Um, he tells him to go to the river in Co-op City. Um, or something like that. I'm paraphrasing, of course. But, which got me thinking. It, that's where the house is in the Wastelands. And that's a thinny. So, Co-op City is a thinny. Now, think, think about this. What if Pennywise came through the Co-op City thinny and just ended up on a trajectory and landed in Maine? Landed, landed in Derry? I think that would be that that I think that's a cool theory. Let's see what you guys think down there in the comments below. But uh the big thing is to to connect so so hard with the dairy stuff. It's cool to find another connect, connection that is a, that is a hard connect. Like I said Co-op City is mentioned in the Dark Tower novels. The thinny idea is my own idea. But to think that he did a hard connect for the Dark Tower in a Bachman book, uh, it's no wonder that he was outed. Um, I remember watching an interview uh, from Stephen King where he, he kind of chuckles and laughs about how people were complaining that uh, Bachman was stealing Stephen King's style. Um, and it's funny to watch him tell it because you can see the glee in his eyes that you know he's tricking people, but he wasn't really tricking people. He was having so much fun with it. Um, and it, the, the last thing I will say about this book is... 
there there's some stuff that I, I read in reviews about the use of the N word in this book. Um, there's the hard R use of the of the word uh, in the what is it? I think it's the interview process that Ben Richards is going through, and. I, if any of those people go and come and watch this Thursday Theorist to try and find out, you know, secrets or, you know, how things tie together or whatever, let me tell you, the reason why Ben Richards says that word during the interview is he's trying to make himself the best contestant possible so that they'll pick him. He's supposed to be capable of fighting back, he's supposed to be a hard-nosed SOB, that kind of thing, and that's why he drops the word in relation to the word doctor, which is completely off the wall, just makes him sound like a, like a nutcase, like a, like a, you know, just a, a weirdo racist. But, it, did you find anything else other than, and I'm not hiding anything from you this time, I think I found everything, there's the Dairy Connection and there's a Co-op City Connection, which oddly enough, the Dairy Connection is not talked about a whole lot within the Stephen King fandom, which is odd, but uh, did you find anything else that I missed? If you did, you know more than me. Leave your comments down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another episode of Thursday Theorist. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!